Hi everyone. I'm going to continue talking about Address the Color of the Moon, which is the sequel to my debut novel, Address the Color of the Sky. I have, um, I did not write from an outline on my first book and it took me a long time to write it. It was, I, I didn't know what I was doing at all. I mean, I wouldn't say I, st I know what I'm doing now, but I'm definitely a lot better writer and I have um, more knowledge of the writing process and what it takes to make, um, to write a timeless story. So I uh, submitted pages to my agent. He came back and said, I love it, but I'm concerned because you're taking on a very complex story structure. I think you need to do an outline. And so I have never done a book outline. I put one together, I sent it to him, and he sent me back two different things. One is just for Prudence Aldrich, who is the protagonist of the th trilogy. Um, and then the, the next pages that he gave me are combined of the different characters that I'm also weaving into the story. So I, I'm very much enjoying writing from an outline. And I, what I'm doing right now is just writing just exactly the way the story should go. And then I'm gonna go back on, on the next draft and, and do more elaborating and, and get more uh, into the characters and things like that. I'm just sort of trying to follow the, 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 the way the outline is right now. Um, one of the words of advice I have to writers out there is don't ever delete anything you write. Cut, um, cut it out and put it somewhere else you probably will be able to use it in either another story or you put it back into the book. You don't know, you might be able to rework it a little bit. So just never delete anything. Just always save it somewhere um, so you have it and you can come back to it. I've been actually doing that a lot because I had written a tremendous amount before I, I started working from this outline. So a huge amount of the stuff I've written, I cannot use. It's a little frustrating because I was over halfway finished writing the book. But what I'm doing is I'm seeing that the way he's taken this whole thing apart and put it back together in an outline format, I'm able to cut out and paste back in in different spots so I can use portions of it and pieces of it. Um, I also find that I'm more creative in the afternoon. It's kind of annoying, but at around usually three o'clock, between two and three is when I start writing. So you definitely wanna write when you know your brain's working its best um, and have the things that make you feel good about your creative energy. Perhaps you have a Himalayan salt lamp like I do, or you light candles or have a diffuser. Um, I need complete silence when I write, which is extremely annoying, but you can't fight it. You just have to go with your writing process. Um, I'm hoping that my agent will get me a publishing deal before I write the book in its entirety. So I'm, in, I'm going to be getting very close to sending him pages again to kind of get a pulse check of where I am. Um, I, I'm pleased to feel good about my writing right now, to feel um, confident about the process and to have an agent advocating me and helping me along the way. It just it's, it's such a different experience than the first book I wrote. Um, so anyway, that's where I am. I'm at about, mm, I think 68,000 words, but keep in mind, I had to cut a lot out. So I've written a lot and I've taken a lot away. Um, it's about five drafts to write a book. So I'd say I'm on draft two. And I really focus on the first five chapters. Those are the most important chapters. If there's a problem with your story, it is upstream. You have to plant all your seeds up there. You have to make sure you have a hook right in the beginning and the readers are sucked in. Um, you have to have cliffhangers and suspense and things where they're gonna want to turn the page and they're not gonna put this book down. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. And thank you so much for listening, and I will update everyone soon. Happy writing!